Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. We'll wait for five or six minutes for the rest of the students to join and we'll start with the class.
Okay, class. Uh, did I give you all homework? Did I give any of your homework? No, no. Okay. I'll share the screen in a minute. Before sharing my screen, we have to discuss the test answers. I hope you all saw the test masks. Did you see? Did you all see your test marks? Yes, ma'am. Were you all satisfied with it? Varshit, were you satisfied with your mark? Varshit, can you hear me? Varshit. Yes, ma'am. Were you satisfied with your mark? What, ma'am? Were you satisfied with your mark? Ma'am, I didn't attend the test, ma'am. Why you didn't attend the test? Ma'am, I was out and there was poor network. I was not able to attend the classes. So. Okay, what about you, Nashita? Were you satisfied? Yes, ma'am. You were satisfied. What was your mark? What was your mark? Nashita, what was your mark? Did you check your mark or not? Mm, what was your mark? Mom, two. Mm, how were you satisfied with that mark? Mom, there were grammatical errors. Grammatical errors. Okay. We'll see what all mistakes have done. So the first question special substances used to test if substances are acidic or basic are called what? First, Leshita will answer, then Varshit will answer. Varshita, no indicators. Me. Indicators, very good. Varshit, if, litmus, if red litmus turns blue, then the substance is in what nature? Ma'am, base. It's not base, it's basic. You say basic nature, acidic nature, not base. Okay. Next question. Litmus is extracted from? Ma'am, this Mm, you left it blank. Why you didn't type legends? You lost mark for that. Next question. Substances that do not change the color of litmus are? Hmm? Um, are they neutral? Neutral. For that, let's say you've written acidic. How will it be acidic? Acidic will change into red more. Next question, a reaction of acid and base together is called? Ma'am, neutralization. Neutralization. Neutralization, spelling is wrong. You're written station. It's a Z. Neutralization. Okay. Uh, next question, nitric acid turns red litmus to what color? Ma'am, red color. Red color. Lajita, you've written blue color. Always acid changes to red color. So it is a silly mistake you've made. Kritika, answer the question. During neutralization yes. reaction, a new substance is formed. It is called as? During neutralization. Uh, Ma'am, can you repeat the question? During neutralization reaction, a new substance is formed. It is called? Um, is it salt solution? It is salt solution. It's just salt. Okay. okay. You, you have, uh, Nashita, you have written salt and water. I've clearly given a substance. Water is not a substance. Okay. So it is just salt. Ma'am, and also I was unable to attend the test. It's only salt. Uh, uh, answer the next question also, Pratika. What okay. is the texture of basis? 
texture of this. Mm. Um, texture. Yeah. One minute, one minute. Hello. Ma'am? Yes. I'm unable to get the question. Yes, who is this? I'm unable to get the question. Okay, just, a, just a minute, ma'am. Class, class, just a minute. I'm on call. I'll be back. Yeah, tell me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, I have already been looking for Australia. I've been looking for clinical psychology.
I'm sorry, guys. It was an important call. So let's continue from where we stopped. Um, okay, for the texture of bases, yes, I have to pick up. Mm. You still have an answer. Mm -hmm. Guys, Cyclitica. Am I audible to all of y'all? Yes, yes mother. Yes. What is the texture of bases? Texture of bases? No, no idea? No, ma'am. Yashita? Ma'am, soapy. Soapy. And what did you write? Bitter. Bitter is the taste. You, you know the answer and you're losing mark. Why? Okay, next. Um, Varshit. Sar nature shows the substance is? Ma'am, sir. Sar nature shows that the substance is? Acidic. Acidic, very good. Um, since it's a grammatic no. error, you can score one mark. Yeah, Lashita, so it will be three for you. Um, five seventeen. Uh, during ant fight, Kritika, during an ant fight, ant injects what acid? Uh, formic acid. Formic acid, very good. Okay, so I hope you're aware of uh, what are mistakes it made. So this is Lashita's mistake. Sai Kritika, the mistakes that you have made is you haven't. Uh, litmus is extracted from what? Litmus is extracted from the juice. Mm, why haven't you written that? You lost mark for that. Substance. Ma'am, I did not didn't even attend that test, ma'am. I even messaged them. I called them. Some error had happened. I didn't even attend the test. Okay, because you have been scored too. I don't know why the first for two questions have been answered. Ma'am, I was shocked to see that when 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 you send the results, I was shocked to see that. Like I didn't oh. even attend the test. How did I get? It's showing that I already oh. submitted the test. Okay, okay, all right, fine, fine. All right, let's go back to class. So I hope you're all aware. We're done with the acid basis lesson. What is the lesson that we are going on right now? Physical and chemical changes. Physical and chemical changes. So finally, we saw about rusting of iron and how many losses are being happening because of rusting of iron. What are the ways to prevent rusting of iron? So these are the different things that we saw. And we've also been seeing different experiments and aware. So now let's continue. Okay, so now we're going to see a new topic. Okay, so in previous class, you would have learned that salt can be obtained by the evaporation of water. We studied that, remember? Do all of you all remember? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so the salt obtained in this manner, you know that it is not pure. Okay, so the sea water, from the sea water, only we're getting salt, right? So from the ocean only, we get salt. So the sun, basically evaporates all the water and this water is dug in small pits from which salt is obtained. Okay, so this salt, you know that it is not obtained in the pure state. It has a lot of dirt and everything and every salt is different, different shapes and sizes, right? Another salt is in the exact same size, right? There are different, different shapes and sizes. The salt obtained in this manner and the shape of its crystals, you know, it is not, it cannot be seen clearly. However, large crystals of pure substances can be formed from their solution. So you can make crystals from pure substances. So you know, salt water is already ocean water, is dirty water, only. there's a lot of dust and a lot of pollution that's happening. So the obtained salt is also not that clean. But pure crystals can be obtained from pure solutions. If the solution is pure, then the Crystals are also pure. So the obtaining of crystals or pure crystals from pure solutions or pure substances 
is known as crystallization. Okay, so large crystals of pure substances can be formed from their solution. This process is called crystallization. Okay, this crystallization is an example of physical change. I'll explain this with an example. So, <laughs> you're gonna take a cup full of water. Ma'am? Yeah? Ma'am, you didn't share your screen. Oh, sorry. So basically, from ocean, you get salt. The ocean water is very dirty. All this water is evaporated with the help of the sun in order to obtain salt. So ocean water is dirty, so salt it is obtained is also different shapes, different sizes, and it's dirty. So you get, if you have the solution is pure, then your crystal will also be pure. So the obtaining of pure crystals from pure solution is known as crystallization, which is a physical change. Okay, I'm explaining this crystallization with an example. So you're taking a cup full of water in a beaker, and you're adding few drops of sulfuric acid. Okay, now you're, then you're going to heat the water. Okay, you're going to heat the water. So when it starts boiling, after it starts boiling, you're going to add copper. Okay, you're going to add copper. What copper? You're adding copper sulfate powder. Okay. You're adding copper sulfate powder and you're going to mix it. Okay, you're going to mix it. And after mixing, you're going to mix it in such a way that no more powder is left. Everything is dissolved. Okay, then you're going to filter the solution. You're going to filter the solution into another container. And then you're going to make it cool down. Okay, since it's very good, you're allowing it to cool down. You're not going to disturb the solution when it's cooling. So after it's cooling down, you will notice that like these crystals will start forming. Okay, if you wait for a long time. So this is known as crystallization. All right, we'll see an example video for crystallization. Please take notes. Kitty, 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 kitty. Hey, what do you want? Experiment to grow crystals of copper sulfate. What is crystallization? The process of obtaining crystals of a soluble substance from its hot saturated solution is called crystallization. Crystallization is only a physical change because no new substances are formed during the process. involves only a change in physical state. Crystallization is used to obtain pure substances from naturally occurring impure substances. Here's an experiment to see how crystallization occurs. Take 100 milliliters of water in a beaker and heat it on a Bunsen burner.
when water begins to boil, add about 2 milliliters of dilute sulfuric acid and then a spoonful of CuSO4. Stir the contents with a glass rod. Stir it continuously and add more impure copper sulfate until no more of it dissolves. Fasten a thread in the middle of a wooden stick and suspend in a glass. Stop heating and pour the saturated copper sulfate solution in a glass. Place the glass aside and cover the beaker with the cardboard. Leave the setup for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you will find big blue crystals of pure CuSO4 at the base of the beaker. Then remove the crystal from the glass and dry in warm air. Did you understand? We all want to watch it again. Did all of you understand or you want to watch it again? Understand. Who wants to watch it again? No, I am not. Okay. Experiment to grow crystals of copper sulfate. What is crystallization? The process of obtaining crystals of a soluble substance from its hot saturated solution is called crystallization. Crystallization is only a physical change because no new substances are formed during the process. It involves only a change in physical state. Crystallization is used to obtain pure substances from naturally occurring impure substances. Here's an experiment to see how crystallization occurs. Take 100 milliliters of water in a beaker and heat it on a Bunsen burner. When water begins to boil, Add about 2 milliliters of dilute sulfuric acid and then a spoonful of CuSO4. Stir the contents with a glass rod. Stir it continuously and add more impure copper sulfate until no more of it dissolves. Fasten a thread in the middle of a wooden stick and suspend in a glass. Stop heating and pour the saturated copper sulfate solution in a glass. Place the glass aside and cover the beaker with the cardboard. Leave the setup for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you will find big blue crystals of pure CuSO4 at the base of the beaker. Then remove the crystal from the glass and dry in warm air. Do you understand? Yes, how crystallization is done? Yes, ma'am. This is, uh, I'll show you another video. This is how you can do it at home. Okay, crystallization is solved. It's very easy. You can even do it with sugar and make sugar crystals for making sugar candy and all. Okay, so please watch Indulekha this. Indulekha Bringa Oil grows new hair. Now in new pack. You can use salt instead of sodium.
see they make rock candy using this hey guys do you want to learn make it just put so be patient then take your skewers or longer cup food coloring jars you will also need lollipop sticks or skewers and clothes pins add the cup of water into a big saucepan then start adding the sugar cup by cup Stir while adding the sugar and let each cup dissolve before adding another cup of sugar. The more sugar you add, the longer it will take to dissolve, so be patient. Then take your skewers or lollipop sticks and dip them into the solution. Make sure to cover only the area of the stick where you want the candy to grow later. Then place the sticks over a plate and start coating the stick with some sugar. This way we give the new sugar crystals something to see to. Be sure to let them dry all the way, or otherwise the sugar coating will fall off when you put them into the hot sugar solution. In the meantime, continue adding sugar until 3.5 cups of sugar have absorbed. Then let the sugar water boil for about 10 minutes so you can be sure that everything is absorbed. If you want, you can also add some flavor into the liquid so it's kinda like a delicious lollipop in the end. If you still see some sugar crystals, add a little bit of water very carefully so they can dissolve in it. Now you can either add food coloring directly to the saucepan or add it to the jar later. Then turn off the heat and take the pot off the hot plate and let it cool down for about 10 minutes. Then pour the solution into one of your jars. Before I added the skewers, I let the jars cool down a little bit longer until the glass didn't feel so hot. After that, slowly insert your sugared skewers into the solution. I used two cloth pins to keep the sticks in place. Make sure that your sticks are not touching the sides, bottom of the glass or each other since they need room for the new crystals to grow. Once you have your skewers or lollipop sticks hanging in the jar, you shouldn't move it at all. We are showing 3 to 7 days okay? because sodium acetate is more stronger than we can see with salt or sugar. So they take a lot of time for the crystals to grow. But if any of y'all have time, I hope y'all are on a holiday only so you can easily try this experiment. So if any of you are interested, please do it. Okay. So do it and you can see how beautiful it is. Let it sit quietly undisturbed for about 3 to 7 days to see the results. Don't touch the skewers but pay attention to it as well. And if everything went well, your rock candy should look something like this. I experimented with different kinds of methods and I tried to find the right sugar and water ratio. And I had the best result with the method I showed you. These were some other rock candies where I used less sugar. It still worked, but the crystals took a lot longer to grow and they didn't grow as huge as this one, for example, where I used the ratio I showed you. What I've learned from experimenting is that it's really important that the sugar on the skewer is fully dry. If it's not, the sugar coating will fall off and the new crystals will have nothing to grow on. And in the end, you will also get a glass full of sugar crystals. All the skewers will get stuck to crystals that are growing on the bottom of the jar. And you won't be able to remove the skewers without breaking anything. So make sure nothing falls off. If the project has failed and you want to try it again, you can actually boil the liquid and try it again. You can add more sugar if you didn't have enough or add more water to avoid any leftover crystals. I kinda Okay, anyways, I hope you all understood how crystallization is done. Please make note of what is crystallization in your own words of whatever you learned so far. Please write in your own words and tell me when you're done.
Are you all done? Anybody done? Okay. Done. All right. Anybody left? I'm left. Okay. Take your time. Okay, all right. So, any doubts? Anybody had any doubts? Any doubts you all want to clarify? No, ma'am. Okay, so with this, we're done with this lesson. So, we'll have a small quiz now. The order will be Kritika, Anubhav, Lashita, Varshit. Okay, so to start with, I want you to tell me if this is a physical change or a chemical change. Okay, first thing, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is uh, like photosynthesis. Yeah. Photosynthesis. Um, uh, I think so it's a. I think it's a physical physical change. How can it be a physical change? Ma'am, because no new product is being formed when it's like growing the plant. Okay. Anubhav is is the answer correct? I think it is a chemical change. Why is it a chemical change? Because because why? Because in the presence of sunlight, and because in the presence of sunlight only when photosynthesis is happening. Okay, so why is there a chemical change for that? Okay, Lashita, what are you telling? It is a physical change or a chemical change? Ma'am, chemical change. Why? 
Ma'am, because the properties of the, of the land has changed. What properties? Why did you tell me it's a chemical change? Because the properties changed. Ada, what properties? Ma'am, the sunlight is taken and the plant prepares food. Okay, so? It's a chemical change. The plant prepares food, so it is a chemical change. Varshit? Ma'am, it is a chemical change because starch is formed when starch. Exactly. Everybody is selling chemical, chemical, but nobody is giving me the exact answer. Starch is being formed. Starch is a new substance. How can it be a physical change, Kritika? It is a chemical change because starch is a new product that is being formed. All right. Okay. Next question. Anubhav. Dissolving, dissolving sugar in water. Physical change or chemical change? Chemical change. Why chemical change? Um, because uh, when we dissolve the sugar in water, then after uh, we taste it, uh, um, it seems to be sweet, man. Okay, so sugar is sweet. If you put in water, it will be sweet only. Because of that, it's a chemical change. Kritika? Ma? Physical or chemical? Ma, can you repeat the question? Dissolving of sugar in water. Dissolving, uh, dissolving, dissolving of sugar in water is a... Uh, Ma'am, it's... Uh, Ma'am, it's a chemical thing. Why? Uh, Ma'am, because like sugar is a substance, so like when it's getting mixed with water, you know, it's getting formed. Like sugar, sugar, form? sugar, sugar solution. Like or starch is also they like. Okay, what about you, Lashita? Ma'am, can you once repeat? Listen, all of y'all carefully. I'm asking the question if dissolving of sugar in water is a physical change or a chemical change? Um, chemical change. Why? Um, because the taste changes. What is changing? Um, the taste changes. Sugar is this thing only, no? Sweet only, no? Solution is also sweet. What, is, what taste is changing here? Varshit? Ma'am, it is a physical change, ma'am. Why? Ma'am, because no new substance are formed. Why is only Varshit giving me the right answer, all of you all? All of you all are there in the classroom. Because no new substance is formed. And always remember, physical changes are reversible. You can easily do evaporation and you can easily separate sugar from the liquid. You can reverse it also. The taste is not changing. You just am mixing two substances. That is it. No new substance is being formed. Am I clear, all of y'all? Please think and answer. And whatever the reason, maybe physical or chemical, I want a proper reason. I just don't want the answer. Okay. Yes. At least respond or no? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, Lashita, burning of coal, physical or chemical? Ma'am, chemical. Why? Ma'am, because a new substance, ash, is formed. What is formed? Ash. Ash, okay. Uh, what about you, Kritika? Ma'am, my ma'am, it's correct only for you. A new substance is getting formed. It's chemically changing. 
so i like i agree with you okay so, uh, it is chemically changing means no substance is being formed ma'am it's chemically changing and also new substance is being formed okay okay anubhav I think it is a chemical change because uh, as is formed after burning is formed. Okay, worship. Ma'am, it is a physical change. Why? Ma'am, because uh, the wax is not only liquid, ma'am. It is not changing into another substance. Are you looking at the solutions or something, worship? No, ma'am. No. I didn't ask that question itself, worship. <laughs> you looking at the solutions and answering no ma'am then why are you answering the next question i never asked that question ma'am i asked on melting of wax on you what is the question i asked leshita ma'am burning of coal yeah was it Even if you are cheating, you should know how to do it properly. Ma'am, no, ma'am. I am just giving my test for girls. <laughs> okay, fine. It is not um, uh, melting of wax. Give me the answer for burning of coal. Ma'am, I think it's chemical. Why is that? Ma'am, because when we burn the coal, heat is generated, and many things are generated like electricity. <laughs> Electricity is generated by burning of coal. Yes, ma'am. Coal is electricity generated. Ma'am, because uh, coal is burned uh, to generate electricity. No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. It's only used for fuel purpose, not for electricity. Okay. Burning of coal is a chemical change. Yeah. So you're right, Lashita. Okay. Ash, since ash is being formed, it is a chemical change. All right. Now, Varshit, tell me, beating of aluminium. to make aluminium foil physical or chemical change beating ma'am is it chemical why ma'am because uh, after beating aluminium we are making aluminium foil Okay, so why is it chemical? Ma'am, because uh, new substance is formed. Aluminium foil is formed. No substance is formed, so chemical, huh? No, ma'am. New substance, aluminium foil. Okay. Shai Gritika. Ma'am. Yeah, tell yes, me. Answer the question. I'm telling all of y'all again. I want all of y'all to be attentive. I'm not repeating the questions. All of y'all, okay? Just telling the questions once. I want all of y'all to be very attentive. The question is: beating of aluminium to make aluminium foil is a physical change or a chemical change? Ma'am, it's a physical change. You do no substances being formed when we are beating the aluminium to make aluminium foil. Okay, Krutika. What about you, uh, Lashita? Ma'am, it's beating or something else like beating or burning. Beating da. Beating means it's a physical change. Ma'am, burning burning means it will be a chemical change. But you say it's beating, it's a physical change. Okay, Anubhav. You say it's physically change. Okay, Anubhav. Anubhav. Yes, ma'am. Physical or chemical? Okay, think. Alashita. Ma'am, physical change because no new substance is formed. Okay. You done thinking, Anubha? Ma'am, change is under. It is a physical change. Okay. Varshita, am I clear? It's not a chemical change. It is a physical change because you are beating the aluminium to make aluminium sheets. No new substance is being formed. Aluminium is beaten to make aluminium again. Okay, ma'am. Okay. All right. Um, Sai Pratika, melting of wax is a physical change or chemical change? 
melting of uh, melting of fats is melting of fats is a physical change but due to when it's melting no new substance is formed it's physically changed but chemically nothing is gonna happen okay on uh, anubhav फिजिकल चेंज लास्ट क्वेश्चन लशिता Digestion of food is a physical change or a chemical change? Nishita, digestion of food. Um, chemical change. Why? Um, because no, I'm um, glucose is formed. Only glucose. The answer is correct, but not only glucose. There are so many other substances also being formed. Proteins. Emulsification is happening. So many processes are being happening, right? It's being broken down into smaller substances, right? So new substances are being formed. So that's a chemical change. All right. Fine. We'll continue with the question of session. So I'll upload it in the resources page. Please go through your notes. Go through my my notes also. Be ready to answer the next classes if there for tomorrow's Python and session. I'll see you all day after. All right. Bye, all of y'all. Bye, man. Bye. Bye.